Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Season AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Um, this is specifically for Southwest, although it is applicable to all parts of Nigeria, but I'm giving this as a perfect example, and I'm going to name um, the amount, I'll, I'll state the amount by each of the states in the Southwest. Southwest, as we generally know, have uh, these six states. Eko, which you call Lagos, it really should be Eko. Ogun, Oyo, Ondo, Ekiti, and uh, Oshun. Those are the six states. Of course, we have Kwara and Kogi, which is um, still needs to negotiate those areas and talk about that later on. But we are talking specifically in terms of how it stands now. The Southwest and Nigeria is those six states. Now, <clears throat> the question that I want to encourage every citizen to pose to every all of these governors is what you see on the screen, and I'm going to reiterate it again. Uh, you need to, you have the right as citizens to um, question your governance. So uh, let me just um, put this up as we go forward. Because I think I want us all to know that. And for, please don't forget, go to uh, Season AY on www.seasonay.org. There you will see the information in terms of the constitution in Yoruba and in English. Now, we are clear the constitution as it stands is fraudulent. But until we get the new constitution redrawn and, re, you know, and, and voted on by the people via referendum, we need to be able to use the powers that there that it lies within it and that's what we're the aim of the program is to encourage you to use those powers we know it's 40 but if you begin to use those powers it can make it even the process of redrafting and redrawing the constitution a lot faster so it is really beneficial if we do get involved in this process um let me just go quickly there one second so i'll check something here Okay, okay, <clears throat> okay, so perfect. Now, I wanted you to have this, and I might just uh, you have it on the screen. <clears throat> the reason why the security vote is very important is what I'm about to state here, and I've said it time and again. Don't forget, go to www.seasonnewa.org, and on there you'll see the constitution both in Yoruba and in English. Again, I'm fully aware that the Constitution is fraudulent in these changes, but the powers in here, we can use it particularly for our market women, farmers, vulcanizers, white joint sellers, hairdressers, uh, vulcanizers, all of you, uh, you know, shoemakers, you can all use those powers, particularly in your local, local language. You don't have to learn a foreign language before you know your rights. It's really important. Now... <clears throat> So we are putting that out there. Please take a screenshot, share it, share it within your community and let people know. And the reason why we're talking about it is the security votes. Did you know that the security vote is not something enshrined in the constitution? It's not something that should be happening. Um, it is something that is outside of the constitution. And when we're writing, we're drawing the constitution, certainly the security vote must be something that has to be in the constitution. Uh, and this is really not acceptable that it isn't. But the fact that state funds are going into the hands of governors. The governors of the states, Oyebanjo, Oyebanji, I think it is, Ekiti, um, Aidatiwa, uh, uh, um, Ondo, uh, Adeleke, Oshun, um, Makide, Oyo, um, Dakwabiodun, Ogun, and uh, Lagos State, uh, uh, Sonwolu, Babajide, Sonwolu. Now, Security vote is something that is very, very important. You need to ask a question. What have you done with the security vote for our state? In view of the fact of the, the level of high level of insecurity that is across Southwest, in fact, the whole of Nigeria. But we are asking specific questions of the Southern governor, Southwestern governors, because here are the funds um, <clears throat> annually. AKT gets 1.2 billion naira for security votes. You see it on the screen on there. On those state gets 7.2 billion naira annually for security votes. 
Osho State gets 4.8 billion naira for security votes. Or your state gets 120 billion naira annually for security votes. Can you see the varying, you know? <coughs> So is that correct? I'm just going to check that. Let me just check the or your state one because I mean that's a lot. If that's the case, 1.2. It has to be. Is it 120 billion? 120 billion naira. That is a concern. One second, please. Let me just check that. Yes, the figure is correct. I just checked it to confirm it. I checked it. It is. It says 120 billion annually. Why is that so high for or your state? And if it's not the case, all your state will come out and state. They need to explain to us where those funds are being spent. Ogun State, they get 960 million naira to 1.2 billion annually. Lagos State gets 17.149 billion annually. Again, security votes. These are security votes. Why is that? Why is it? It is your right as citizens to question those governors, to explain to you they need to explain to you in a town hall. I am calling on all sovereigns in the Southwest. You are a sovereign. You have the power to hold your governor to account, as stated in this screen. Uh, this is what I put on the screen here. Let's zoom in a little bit more closely. One second. Yeah, no, no, I'll just leave it at that. I think I'll leave it this way. So, section 14.2c. By you questioning your government, what you are actually doing is participating in your governance. By you questioning your government, which is your right to do so, that's guaranteed under Section 14 to see the participation by the people in their government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution. By you doing that, you are actually participating in your governance. And because you're a sovereign, you have that power because you are uh, mandated to participate in your governance as ensured. In, the, in accordance with the provisions of this constitution by virtue of the fact that you are a sovereign. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government through this constitution derives all its powers and authority. So you can and must indeed question them. So when they say, oh, come and tell you to go and pray in the church, tell them, before you tell me to go and pray in the church and the mosque, we need to know where you spent the security vote. What are the governors doing with the security votes. You must begin to ask that question. Never mind your prayers in any church or any mosque. Ask them that question. Demand answers. Call them to town hall meetings. Demand that the, the, the state governors tell you in a town hall meeting where you attend the breakdown for where they are spending the security votes they receive for monthly and we're giving you the annual amount. It is your right as a sovereign to ask that question. Please do not leave this to prayers. Prayers will not give you those answers. You actually need to get in touch community-wise. You have the right to call them to town hall meetings and demand that they give you a breakdown of where they're spending the security votes. It is your right. It is your duty. As stated here, you have the right to participate in your governance. The participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution. By you questioning the government, who are serving you? By you questioning them, you are participating in your governance. You are monitoring their actions. That is what you should do. The church or the mosque is nothing, is not what it is not participating in your governance. It isn't. This is what is called participating in your governance. We need to know the breakdown for the figures that you see here. So please join us. Subscribe to Citizen Ewa on YouTube. Uh, we don't come and talk about it total. We are actually we're here to tell you the steps you need to take to take control of your government. Subscribe to Citizen Ewa, hit the notification button, give us thumbs up. Help us reach more people. One more time. Subscribe to Citizen Ewa, hit the notification button, give us thumbs up, and help us reach more people. We truly need your support. We need your support. And the information that we're asking, that we put before you, is something that you can use in your community, in your local languages. I mean, I'm doing this in Yoruba now. I'm in English. But I'm going to do the Yoruba version, um, and I'll put it on the platform. Again, don't forget to subscribe to this uh, Ududua TV Radio 2 on YouTube. We will do the same thing, exactly this information, 
on Oduduwate Radio 2 in Yoruba. For Southwest people, you have the power to question your governance, demand where this... Uh, where the security votes are going. These are the amounts that they should be telling you. These are serious amounts of money. Security votes. Where is it going? You need to question them. It is your right. Those, since they are receiving the funds, it is your duty to demand that. And by asking questions and demanding answers and making sure you get the answers, you are indeed participating in your government. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. If this resonates with you, please do share. Leave a comment. Let's hear from you. What are your thoughts on this? It is something that we need to participate in. This is more important than party going to any church or any mosque. Security is a very important issue. If you are not secure, you're not even secure in your church or your mosque. Without security in your community, using these funds, you're not secure in your church or in your mosque. So this is of immense importance. Please do share this broadcast. You are, of course, watching Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Help us reach more people. The question we're asking, the governors need to explain to you in detail. Break it down and you have the right to ask. What are they using the security vote for? It is your right. You, there's insecurity in the land, and they need to explain where those funds are being spent on. It is time to start demanding questions on, you know, from them. You are a sovereign, I remind you again, and you can use those powers to hold them to account. Do not allow them to tell you to go and pray in any church. No church will tell you what the security vote is. It is the governors that will tell you, and you have the power to ask them. Sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria, from whom the government in this constitution derives all its powers and authority. You are the sovereign. You have the power through participation. By asking questions, you are participating. Let us start participating. Enough of this prayer nonsense. Take collective action. Hold your governance to account right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching this. Isn't why the platform where we speak to the power? Please subscribe. Hit the notification button. Give us thumbs up. Here we go. One more time. Subscribe. Hit the notification button. Finally, give us thumbs up. Help us reach more people. We need to take collective action together. This is not the time for us to be praying to anything. It is our action that will rescue us. It is our collective action that will ensure that we no longer starve in our community, that we are safe in our community because we are taking part in our governance and participating in the process as mandated under that fraudulent 1999 constitution. And by participating, we ensure that the constitution is reviewed and redrawn to include the things we need and we will participate in that process including a referendum please do share this broadcast you are of course watching citizen ay the platform where we speak truth to power our valetron let us have your thoughts on this please do share this broadcast share share and share thank you so very much bye for now